moment of truth. In this problem, we're supposed to recover the images that have been deleted from a memory card and we have the image file with us. So you should download this file using this command wget followed by this URL and then we can begin coding this up. Meanwhile, smash that like button. So I'm going to include cs50.h and I'm going to include standard int.h. I'm going to define some things like block size and block is going to be 512 and I'm going to define something called file name size okay each file name that has to be outputted is of size 8 okay because it's 00.jpg zero, zero, so it's 4 plus 3 plus 1 for the backslash 0 okay so we're going to start off with error checking and say if rc is not 2 then we have to print an appropriate error message usage dot usage dot slash recover image backslash n okay and then we're going to return one so we're going to return from this program and exit after checking if the command line arguments are correct i'm going to open this file in a variable called in file so i'm going to use fopen and we use argv of one since we have checked that the command line arguments are of size two we can use argv of one after this i'm going to check if in file if in file is null then we have not been able to open the file so i'm going to print f an appropriate error message you can also use f print f or print some error stream or whatever but for this problem it doesn't matter as such after doing that i'm going to define a buffer of size 512 but since 512 is sort of a magic number I'm going to use this block size which I have defined over here block size okay so after defining this, or declaring this buffer I'm going to use this I'm going to initialize a boolean variable called have found first JPEG okay what this does is uh, we have to see if we have found the first JPEG because all the JPEGs are in a continuous fashion and then we have some beginning some numbers which indicate that this is the beginning of a JPEG and then once we have found the beginning of a JPEG there will be a lot of JPEGs over here so in a continuous format okay so we need to read in the file into buffer okay so what we're doing is we're reading a block size one block size from this in file into buffer okay and while this is true which means well this is not zero or simply this okay while we can read something into this buffer we should do the following if we have not yet found the first JPEG then what should we do before this actually what we need to do is we need to check if this is the, the buffer that we have read in so this is a start is start of a new JPEG so we can create a function called is start of new JPEG and this is going to be a boolean function so bool is start of new jpeg and buffer which is going to be bytes again okay? and define the function over here is start of a new jpeg byte okay? buffer it's a byte array and we're going to check if calling is true we have a formula over here so the starting of a jpeg is supposed to be something like this okay it's supposed to be so this is the starting of a jpeg okay I'm going to say we can return true if the buffer of zero equals equals o x f f okay the zeroth location first location the second location and this is the third index location so I'm going to say if buffer of zero is equal to o x f f and if buffer one is equal to o x d eight and if the buffer of three buffer of two I mean the third location or the second index if this is equal to oxff and no this is tricky because you have to encapsulate all these things so and what you need to do is essentially you need to check if this first four bits are e so to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to use buffer of three and i'm going to and bitwise and this with oxf0 What's going to happen is f is like four ones over here, right? The four ones, if you end with one, you're going to get the same thing. The first four bits of the first byte 
of this byte okay the first four bits of this byte if it's going to be e so ox e0 okay then we are going to return true okay after this you know if we have if we have found that the buffer that we'll read in that's the start of a new jpeg then we must check if we have found the first jpeg or not if we haven't found the if we found the first jpeg we have not found the first jpeg then what we should do is you know what we should flip this to be true true okay should flip this boolean to true otherwise what we should do we should do is we should if we have already found the first jpeg we must close the previous file okay we must close the previous file so i will close i'll open a file in which is going to be referenced by this out file okay and if i have already found the first jpeg i must have been reading that file in so now i'm going to close that file so after closing this file or after having found the first jpeg okay after having found the first jpeg we are going to set this to be true because we have found the first jpeg or if we have not found the first jpeg if we have found the first jpeg we close the previous file and then we create a file Okay, with size create a file name create a file name size file name size and we're going to we are going to represent files in this format I'm gonna say we'll start with Z I'm gonna start with three integers okay followed by a JPG okay so and then I'm gonna maintain how many files have I found till now I'm gonna say I'm gonna initialize int file index to be zero and then I'm going to say I want to I want to use this as a placeholder for file index and then I'm also going to increment this file index after this operation has been done now after that I'm going to say out file I'm going to open this file with this file name and I'm going to use the right string the W string which represents I want to write to this file now if out file is null then I must return one okay because there has been some error after that if we have been able to successfully open the file I'm gonna write use, using f write I'm gonna write from this buffer I'm gonna write 512 bytes one time into this out file okay so now if we haven't if we've read into this buffer variable and we haven't found the starting bytes of a jpeg then what we must do is if we have if we have actually found the first jpeg then we must keep on writing it okay so we must keep on writing the previous file the f write from buffer block size one out file okay so after doing this you can just close this file close the out file and then we can close the in file as well so after doing this we should be able to retrieve our jpeg so i'm going to make recover and see if there's a problem over here and yes sure enough we've got a problem use semicolon over here make recover byte array unknown type name byte okay we must use type def u int 8 underscore t as byte so I figured out by looking into the spec and then see here u in u int All right moment of truth so dot slash recover card dot raw then I should get back all the images. See here, we have recovered images or not. And as you can see, we have recovered all the images, all 59 images starting from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 0, 049. So let me just run check 50 on this. Meanwhile, I'll just try to re. I'll just try to summarize what we've done over here. So what we've done over here is we simply define a byte to be this data type, and then we have defined a 
block size to be 512 and the file name size as H because as you can see it's 000, 000 something right 000.jpg which means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then one more for backslash 0 that's the string size including the backslash 0 is going to be 8 and we've defined this function called is start new jpeg which returns true if we have if, if the current buffer if the first four bytes are start represent the start of a new jpeg so the logic over here is we have opened up into in file we've opened the card image and then we've checked if this is null or not to be sure then we have defined a byte array of size 512 and then we've read from the in file into the buffer okay, 512 bytes at a time we're reading into this buffer and then we've checked if this is the start of a new jpeg the buffer that we've received the first two bytes of the start of a new jpeg okay which is down here then we can say for certain that you know if we have not found the first jpeg then we must flip this to be true otherwise we must close the already the file that has already been outputted okay we must close that file and come up with a new file okay we've used uh, this operator this placeholder so that we get this uh, a similar format to this and then we have used the out file to output from the buffer that we've read into this out file otherwise the buffer that we have read in the first four bytes are not the starting of a new jpeg i have used the f write function but we have actually found the first jpeg there. so we must keep on writing the previous file the previous out file and then we close the out file and close the in file okay and we are pretty much done that's pretty much it like share and subscribe peace